Hi there everyone and welcome to another episode of Just One Stomp. In this episode I'm going to be talking about probably my favorite pedal of all time. Um, the EOD. The reflection there. The DOD Death Metal the FX86, the original one. Uh, that right here. That Dodd brought us back in early 90s, I think it was. Now, this pedal I've had, I bought an original back in the 90s, I think it was, bought in my, probably my first distortion pedal. Well, not my first, but my first one that I started using in advance, playing metal with. A lot of people don't like this pedal because it has no gain control. It's just pure balls to the wall sound. But the thing for me is with metal and playing extreme music is like you break all the rules. You fuck all that shit. Say, fuck all that shit, I'm just gonna go for it and do for it. That's my approach to metal and I think if you listen to my music, you'll hear that I'm just like break the rules and do what you want. After all, is the music all about expression? That's what we want to do. Now, as far as tone goes, guys might say, you know, you're going to get better time using a true screamer through uh, Marshall JCM 800 or a, a dual rate or something like that. I didn't grow up playing guitar with those kind of amps. I didn't really know about them Here in South Africa. There were pretty guys using that kind of stuff. I only found out more about using a, a boost pedal in front of a valve and blade on. So when I was younger, my brother Hilton and I went to a local music store and um, we were trying out, yeah, we, we were just beginning guitar, trying out stuff. And we were trying out this multi effects unit. Uh, it was a simple one, and it's a pretty, pretty cool distortion pedal, but we were big into thrash metal in the beginning of death, death metal, early 90s kind of stuff. And um, they had a DoD death metal there. We plugged it in, and we're like, holy shit, this thing is, has so much balls, the low end punch and the depth to it. Just the, the amount of gain we was like, we fell in love right, right there, then and there with the pedal. Um, it's still, to this day, my go-to distortion pedal when I, when I just need one pedal, that's what I'll use. I know there's other stuff there where you can control the gain and things like that, but for the kind of music I play, this works really well. I've even used it in more of a, a rock band too, playing, using it as a lead drive pedal, really great for that. Um, but yeah, that's the way I've always used an inter clean amp. Nowadays I'm running through a Marshall Param, so it basically works as my preamp going into that. Um, the controls on this thing are rip, guts, pain, and scream for those who know. Who know. Rip, RIP being level, guts being the low end, pain being the mids, and scream being the high end. Couldn't get anything cooler than that, but Jason Lamb, the guy who designed these pedals, had some really cool ideas and crazy stuff going on, which is really awesome. He designed the, the grunge and other pedals along that line when he originally came out. I mean, who wonder, wouldn't want a who wouldn't want a distortion pedal with or death pedal with like blood black finish on it? I mean, that's so sick. As far as design goes, you don't get any better than that in my opinion. Especially for guys who play extreme metal and who are like me and still 16 inside and just want to rip and tend to the guitar when they play. I'll read this, an excerpt from the, uh, the manual for this pedal um, that I always thought was really cool and a lot of fun. Like you think of those old B-grade horror movies and the zombie shit, all that kind of stuff. But I'll read it here. Rip matches the distortion level with the original signal level caution. Turning the RIP control clockwise may cause some varieties of cats to gather and fight one another. This can e easily be rehearsed for future performances. Brilliant. Turning the control counterclockwise can be useful for a little midnight thrashing to avoid an encounter with a large number of law enforcement personnel <laughs> just brilliant i mean the marketing for this thing was just so cool that's that's what i really loved about the whole thing too guts <coughs> guts your low end this controls the low end of the distortion sound turn it up to make your speakers groan pain 
this controls the mid frequencies of, of the distortion by turning it down the lane becomes a monster turning up and you'll begin to feel the pain when it scream controls the amount of high end on the distortion turning it up for brittle chainsaw pick attack no DOD will not be held responsible for any damage caused by those formerly dead who are suddenly awakened by the FX86 that's amazing that's like <laughs> this pedal will bring about zombie apocalypse I mean who would have thought but that's fucking brilliant yeah um, they had settings here for bands like Brutal Truth and Napalm Death whether those bands actually whether those bands actually use the pedal I'm not too sure but you can get pretty good tones or something close to that with, with a good grindcore sound to it and play some death metal obviously they suggest on here that you use down tuned guitars to get the best results and those who play extreme metal generally tune down lower um, but yeah um, I've written a song I've written a song with the pedal, I'm just gonna call it Rip Guts Pain Scream like the controls why not? Check the video out over here. For recording the guitars, I'm running it straight into my Marshall Valstead Pro, um, Valstead Pro 120 watt uh, power amp into my 4x12 into my door. That's it. Just one pedal into that. For the sounds you're hearing, I'm gonna probably lay down two rhythm tracks, a lead track. I'll do bass also, I'll throw the, put the bass through the DOD death metal as well, get some naughty bass tones, that'd be fucking wicked. So, here goes.